So start lying prone on your belly. And take a moment, find your breath. And allow the inhalation to expand the lower back as you rest your head down. And the exhalation to soften the back body as you release into the mat, into the floor. Inhaling a little bit of space. And exhaling to soften into that space and around it. Go ahead and take a deep breath in, pause. And then exhale, whisper ha. And the floor can give the body a little feedback. Notice how the body responds. Maybe relaxes as you exhale, ha. Do that one more time, inhale, pause. And exhale, ha. One last time, breathing in, expanding. And breathing out, exhale, softening. Allowing the body to release into the mat. And take a couple of breaths. While I unmute, Eric, or rather mute everybody. Just for a little bit of a better sound quality, hopefully. Notice if you can release the jaw and soften the shoulders. And one more time, inhale, pause. And exhale to release. Slide your hands closer to the shoulders. And take a couple of cobra waves here. Press the tops of the feet down, drop the tailbone. Roll the shoulders back and inhale. Just a tiny lift, pressing the heart forward as you inhale. Exhale, soften down. And we'll do that again. Roll the shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades in. And then using your back muscles, you can even lift your hands up. Inhale, raise the upper chest and then the back. And exhale, soften down. And one at a time, draw shoulders back, press shoulder blades in, tops of feet down, and gaze forward. Inhale. And then exhale, press through the hands. I'm coming on to all fours. We'll take a little cat and cow. So we'll start with a variation. For those of you with a little bit of lower back stuff, you're not going to come into flexion. So you're not rounding the lower back. You're going to keep the sit bones moving back. So let's start with that together. Inhale, inner thighs press back, heart forward. And then exhale, press through the floor and just round the upper back, working to keep the pelvis stable. And we'll do that again. Inhale. Drop the heart between the shoulders, gaze forward. Exhale, press through the hands and round just the upper back, relax the hip. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhaling, press away. And then you can make this a little bit more expanded. Inhaling, sticking your bum out and up. Exhaling, curl through the spine and especially the upper back, relax head. Again, inhale, collarbones, smile forward. Exhale, navel draws in. And one more time, inhale. And exhale. We're gonna come onto our forearms, speakies, and uh, move the inner thighs back once again even as you draw the heart forward. I'm gonna step the feet back a little bit and release the hips forward. <laughs> so we're in a sort of half plank, forearm plank position type situation. Inhale, press the floor away, lift the hips a bit. Exhale, let the hips hover. And two more like that, inhale. Just a little bit of movement for two. And one more time, inhale. 
and exhale coming back to sphinx pose now elbows shoulder width apart and maybe a little bit forward shoulders draw back heart draws forward inhale exhale chin to chest lift the belly and again inhale look forward shoulders back exhale navel back head heavy and one more time inhale and exhale and you can stay with that if the lower back is cranky or you're on your period or you can crank it up and lift the hips now as you drop the head and then slowly release down resisting gravity inhale exhale press away and maybe lift a bit and one more time inhale and exhale good stay there or hover right knee just lift oh yeah and release down changing sides Ooh. and then both together no, just kidding come on down ah, slide the hands back coming to a low cobra inhale shoulders back heart forward press through the hands exhale seat to heels for puppy pose so it's like a half downward facing dog press the seat back and stretch the chest forward maybe even look forward relax the head for a moment find some space through the armpits and side waist and see if you can breathe into those areas so breathing into the side ribs and the back body or maybe an exhale through the mouth <sighs> good and coming back onto all fours if your wrists are sensitive feel free to stay on your elbows i'm going to take a, a little bit of a bird dog so press the leg back as you know i prescribe this for everything from knee pain to neck pain hover the leg press the inner heel back and reach the left arm forward so the head is in line with the hips more or less we'll check it out in the video hopefully later and see how true to that i am <laughs> this could be a great learning tool Stabilize your gaze, find your breath, and then inhale, lower the left arm a bit. Exhale, press it up. Neck is neutral here, so I'm gazing down. Keep doing that until I say stop, or until your body says stop. Good. And keep the arm up. We're gonna, I'm gonna give you the side view for this. You're gonna bend the elbow, and take the hand to the back of your skull and lift the elbow up and then stretch the arm long now i have a wall behind me i'm pressing the heel actively back even as i reach forward i'll do that just a couple more times everything is working that's one of the reasons i love bird dog so much is because it's it demands everything from everything <laughs> good and then take a moment and rest sit back Give your wrists a few squeezes, find your breath, smooth it out. Whew. A little bit of fire and then creating a little bit of heat, also good for immune system. If we can work up a sweat at least every couple of days, then we don't have access to a sauna and it's really good. Let's take the second side, so coming back to all fours. The wrists can be slightly forward of the shoulders stabilize here and as you're ready extend left leg back bring equal weight into both palms press the floor away and then extend the leg but we don't want to shift the weight to the right now we want to keep equal weight through both hands back foot can be on uh, the top or tucked and then reach the right arm forward almost as if someone were pulling you from the wrist and the ankle so you're getting really long even as you press the floor away on your next inhale you can lower the arm a bit exhale send it up and then remember how we were breathing into the lower back when we started lying on our bellies see if you can breathe into the lower back so you're not letting the lower back drop here good stay with that or at the elbow bend just gently tapping the back of the head a few times. 
Relax the mouth. Keep pushing the left hand into the floor. Voila. Good. And once again, sit back. I'm pressing the tops of the hands into one another. I hope you don't feel cold seeing me in my little sleeveless number here. I get hot a lot. <laughs> Good. And then coming down to all fours. Cat cow three times. Inhale. Lift and lengthen. Exhale. Around and drop. Again. Inhaling. Shoulder blades slide together. Exhaling. Navel pulls back. And one more time, inhale, and exhale. We're gonna tuck our toes under, slide the tailbone up and back, and press back to puppy pose. So we want a lot of length in the spine here. We're going to hover the knees, right? Lift them a bit, keep pressing the seat back. So this is the kind of sensation we want through the spine in our downward facing dog, right? So we don't wanna be rounded here. So press the seat back, find more length through the side body, and then slowly, slowly, slower than you'd like, start to straighten the legs, just where you feel that the pelvis starts to round, and that's gonna be your spot for now. So it's fine, down dog with bent knees, rocks my world, don't be afraid to embrace it. Relax the head, couple of breaths, and then maybe press right heel down, keeping left knee bent. And once again, equal weight in both hands. And switching sides, press left heel down. And then we'll slowly walk forward, paying attention to every part of the mat, bending the knees a lot. Now for those of you lower back stuff, come into a squat instead of a forward bend. So you can keep the sacrum nice and open. And then we'll all keep our chest over the legs, relax the head and neck for a moment. Interlace the fingers behind your head. Press the palms into the head and the head into the palms. Those of us who were you with us yesterday in class, right? remember how it was with the towel there. So you're pressing the skull away from the shins. And then draw the elbows up. Just a couple of breaths here. And once again, you can flutter the lips if that feels good. And then we'll come into a deep squat here. Drop your seat. Lift your chest up. I'm going to move back so I'm not the headless horsewoman. And then interlace the fingers, sit low, take a breath in. And then exhale, come to stand. Whew. Great. Couple of rotations through the shoulders here. Yeah, and I'm going to just adjust the camera just a smidge and hopefully get the top of my head. I did brush my hair for you this morning. Not for me. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I can adjust. <sighs> Beautiful. Soften the knees, activate the core a little bit. Let's do a little bit of arm swinging. Think of allowing the navel to keep facing forward. And my knees are soft here. And I'm gazing forward and even pressing my chin just a bit in the opposite direction that the shoulders are moving in. And you know, if you want to bounce a little bit or Make it like a little dance move. All right. It's your practice. So depending on your energy levels and how you're feeling, make it yours. And so, uh, you know, sometimes I have to remind myself it's okay to have moments of joy these days. It's okay to enjoy something. It's okay to appreciate. And it's okay to have fun, you know? We have so many hours during the day to be worried. <laughs> So maybe let's allow for the next hour to be just a little more lighthearted or fun or whatever you need. Right? Just a couple more, maybe tapping the kidneys, right? the lower back with your hands. It's kind of sassy. Good. And press through the feet, soften the knees, interlace the hands, reach the arms up. I'm just bending my knees so I'm in frame. Move the arms back, hug the ribs in so you're not sticking your bum out too much here. Take a breath in. And then exhale, side bend to the right. Take a breath in. Exhale, release the arms and the head to the right. So drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Stretch through the fingers and the elbows. Couple of breaths here. Feel free to play with the angle 
of the gaze, or you could close the eyes. On your next in breath, reach left arm up, full stretch. Exhale and come through center one more time. Interlace the hands, reach them up, get low. On that exhale, drop tailbone. Side bend to the left. Big breath into the right lung. And then release the arms and the head. Stretch through the fingers and wrists. Let the head go. Can you relax your mouth? Can you exhale through the lips? I bet you can. Good. And then on your inhale, we're going to reach the right arm up and over. Exhale, come back to center. Good. Hands come to the hips. Heels will be sitting bone distance apart, so we can stack the bones. Good. We'll take a, a little bit of um, mobility for the hips. So press your right hip to the right. Take a breath. Hmm, good. And take it to the other side. Oh, dear. That's my father. And then take it both sides again. Both. Love you. Bye. Bye. And then take a few rotations with the hips. See, that's what happens when you teach from home. Actually, you know, it all it happens in the studio. Oh, you know, my dad's called me during class before, so it's fine. Okay. And then see if you can take the shoulders into it as well. And maybe if it feels good, the upper back or even the head. Allowing full body movement for a moment, the knees, the ankle joints, everything, just kind of getting a little loose. We will be working a little bit more directed and a little bit more uh, sort of dictatorially. <laughs> so take a moment to just enjoy a little bit of free movement. I keep fiddling with the camera today, sorry about that. But I want you to see my mat rather than my head. Good. Heels sitting bone distance apart. Exhale, find your seat. Good. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, bend the knees a lot. If the lower back is happy, hands down. If not, keep the hands up. Step the right foot back to a lunge. Bend the back knee. This gives us access to the buttock and the back of the thigh. Beautiful. Press the left foot down, reach the arms up. And then inhale, stretch everything long. Exhale, bend the elbows and the knees. Good, again, inhale. And exhale for two. Beautiful, one more time, inhale, reach, get long, get strong. Exhale, take the knee down, take the hands down. Coming to your half plank with the hips forward of the knees, or if you're feeling good about it, you can come into plank. Take a breath in, exhale, slowly lower everything down. Inhale, make some space, lift everything up, Shalabhasana. Exhale, release down, hands under shoulders. Inhale to cobra, shoulders back, elbows in. Exhale down. One more time, Shalabhasana, uh, locust pose, inhale. Exhale to plank or fours, and then puppy or downward facing dog. Heels do not need to touch. As a matter of fact, if the heels touch, walk your feet back, get long, make some space, find a little bit of movement, maybe a little sway side to side. Releasing the head, keep the arms strong. Beautiful. And then keeping the hands evenly pressing as we worked on in bird dog, reach the right leg up, keeping equal weight in both hands. Inhale. Exhale, keep the spine strong, step the right foot forward. Inhale, low lunge, get long. Exhale, bend back knee, come up. Inhale, arms reach up, straighten the legs. Exhale, bend the elbows out to the side. Good, again, inhale. Exhale for two. And one more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, bend. 
Good. Hands to the heart or solar plexus, the yakoplegma. Take a breath in. Exhale, step the foot forward. Drop your seat, low lunge. Arms reach up, inhale. Exhale, interlace hands behind the head, elbows back. Inhale here. Exhale, take it to the side bend. Feet can be a little apart or together. Inhale, center. Exhale to other side. Good. Inhale, center. Exhale, ski. So releasing fingertips towards the mat, keeping a long spine. Arms reach up, Utkatasana, inhale. Exhale, step the left foot back, lunge. Bend the knee a bit, reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows out to the sides. Again, inhale, reach, drop tailbone. Exhale for two. One more time, inhale. And exhale, take the knee down slowly. Take the hands down. Step back to your half plank or plank. Inhale, pause. Exhale, lower all the way down. Good. Inhale to locust. Exhale, hands and feet down. Low cobra, inhale, shoulders back. Part lifts. Exhale, slowly down. Let's do that one more time. Keeping minimal weight on hands. So shoulders back. Low cobra, inhale. Low cobra means no weight on hands. So you're really working those back muscles. Take a breath in, beautiful. Exhale, all fours. Puppy or downward facing dog or child's pose. Couple of breaths in the pose. Let the head and neck go. Deepen your breath. Let the eyes settle. We're bringing a little space into the armpits. Take one more big breath in. Join us in down dog if you're not. Exhale. Stabilize, press through the hands, and then reach the left leg back and up. Flex the foot. Press evenly through both palms. Inhale. Exhale. Step the foot forward. Minimize rounding the spine. Inhale, get longer. Exhale, bend the knee, back knee, come on up. Arms reach up, inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, bend everything. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, drop in. Beautiful, one more time, inhale to reach. Exhale, bend. Hands come together at your solar plexus. Take a breath in. Exhale gracefully, step forward. Good, Utkatasana, inhale, arms reach, and then straighten your legs, come to stand. Turn your palms forward, slow your breath down. Yeah, you can fix hair or shirt as need be, but take a moment here, deepen your breath. Maybe an exhale through the mouth. Yeah, feel free to grab some water. You know, you're home, no one's judging. Honor your needs. Good. And if you're not doing anything, you're taking a few breaths in the standing posture. And then once again, see if you can pour your inhalation into the lower back. And as you exhale, maybe soften the knees, feel the feet pressing down so that the crown of the head can float up. Shoulders back. Breath smooth. One more time. Inhale through the nose. Option to exhale through the mouth. Beautiful. And then we'll take the hands to the hips and step the right foot back. And then find a little bit of uh, versatility here. So if you find that you're on a tightrope, you probably have the heel in front of the foot. Very hard to balance. So if the balance is hard, step the right foot to the right edge of your mat just a bit. Maybe even a little wider than hips distance. I like that for me sometimes. And then here, notice how you can sort of be a little bit more resilient, right? So if we take a wider base, if we have a firm foundation, then, you know, pow, pow, we have a little bit of uh, leeway. Good. And then inhale, reach the arms up. 
And exhale, interlace the hands behind the head. I'm going to show you the front view. Take a breath in. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center, press your skull back, almost as if you could make a double chin. Exhale to the other side. Again, exhale to the right. Beautiful, and inhale, exhale to the left. Good. One more time. Maybe let the arms go. A little belly. Woo. Good. Turn your palms up. Maybe look up. Inhale. Exhale. Hands down. Step back. Plank pose or half plank. Good. Pause. Can you hover the right foot? And the left foot. Can you keep the pelvis stable? Hover right foot. And left foot. Take the knees down, inhale, exhale, lower all the way down. Ah. Inhale, locust. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the pelvis. Lift the arms up. Draw the gaze forward. Couple of breaths. Maybe a little side to side movement. And then we'll bend the knees. Lift the knees and straighten the legs. Keep the knees high. And once again, curl the heels in towards the hands and straighten. And one more time. Good. Inhale, lift everything higher. Exhale, plank or half plank to puppy or downward facing dog. More is not better necessarily. It's just more sometimes. So honor where you're at. Find your breath. And allow for a little space between the ears and the upper arms. As if suddenly you had Dumbo ears. Good. Inhale, right leg back and up. Keep the hands evenly pressing. Exhale, step the foot forward. Good. And then inhale, lift everything up. Once again, exhale, interlace the hands behind the head. Press the skull back, hug the ribs in. Maybe micro bend the back knee. Inhale. Exhale, side bend to one side. Inhale up. Exhale to the other side. And again, inhale through center, elbows back. Exhale to one. And to the other. Keep pressing hands into head, head into hands, activating those muscles through the back of the neck. Oh, yes, and we can add the arms for our extra bonus round. <laughs> Good. Palms up. Send your hands back. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Step forward. Get low. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, press your feet, stand tall. Pause. Take a breath in and let it go. Last round. Forward tilt, anterior tilt of the pelvis, arms reach. Inhale, Utkatasana, getting strong through back chain. Exhale, step left foot back, lunge. Inhale, get taller. Maybe find a little bit of a back bend now. Exhale, interlace fingers behind the back. Elbows bend, shoulders lift, and then press the arms straight. If you're feeling super open, make a fist with your hands. Otherwise, flexing the wrist is fine. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower left knee down slowly. Slower, slower, hover, and release. Okay, we'll work on the other side. <laughs> Inhale, lift the chest, keep the abdomen engaged a little bit. Exhale, hands down, half plank or plank. Inhale, pause. Exhale, lower all the way down. Elbows bent straight back, shoulders back. Inhale, Shalabhasana, your locust. Exhale, reach the arms forward if the lower back is happy with that. Inhale, lift everything higher. Exhale, 
all fours or plank to puppy or downward facing dog. Couple of breaths, come back to your present experience. Feel free to keep the knees bent, giving a little space. In the sacrum, sacroiliac, relax the head, deepen the breath. Pressing evenly into both palms. Use the exhale for this. Take the left leg back and up. Exhale. Pause for your in breath. And on your exhale, step the foot forward, lunge. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, bend back knee, come on up. Woo. Arms reach up, inhale. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back, shoulders back. Extend the arms, hug the ribs in, take a breath in. Exhale, start to lower the knee slowly. It's really slowly. No, actually. <laughs> All right, slowly down, 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 down. Good. Pause here, take a big breath in. Exhale, we'll take both hands forward. Coming into Utkatasana deep squat one more time. Inhale, arms reach. And exhale to stand. Whew. Good. And then shake it out, shake your wrists out, shake out your shoulders, and your little boogie woogie. Beautiful. And um, let's keep the left foot forward and step the right foot back. And then move your pelvis a bit. So we're not in a rush to get anywhere. Adjusting everything here, make sure everything is proper. So think of moving your tailbone as if you were wagging your tail. So we bend one knee and then the other a little bit. And you could even take a few rotations, a few little circles. Keep the left knee somewhat stacked. Good. And then interlace the fingers. Hug the ribs in, drop tailbone, reach arms up. Inhale. Get long through 360 through the torso. Beautiful. And then expand out. We'll take the left hand to the front thigh. And uh, sorry, that's your right hand. Still on the same page. I like that. And then reach. That's it. Inhale. And then exhale. Front elbow to front thigh. Left arm up and over. If the lower back is not okay with this, make your movement smaller. Any amount of the pose is still the pose. Otherwise, we're going to take it into a flow. Press through the feet. Inhale, warrior S2. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale, back up. Exhale, extended side angle. Press the back heel down and reach. Again, inhale, float up. If your leg is exhausted, stretch it long for a moment. Exhale, take a little side bend. And then inhaling up, exhale to the other side. Press through the outer edge of the back heel. Take the top arm behind the back. Use its presence to remind the back, the lower hip to press forward. Press through the bottom elbow and drop the ear to the shoulder. Couple of breaths. Play with the angle of the chin. Beautiful. And you can move towards straight if it's exhausting. Hmm? But drop the head. So how is it to stay very strong through the feet and legs engaged, but then let the upper body release and relax a bit. Both hands down, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk it out, wag your tail. Let the head and neck release, maybe a calf stretch. I'm going to step the right foot forward all the way to the right hand. You can give it a little boost with the right hand. Take the left heel down, press the left heel down, and then inhale, come up to Ward's Warrior Two. Interlace the fingers and hug the elbows in as you get a little bit longer through the side waist. Tailbone drops, heart lifts, extend the arms. Take a big breath in. I like to turn my palms forward. It's nice for the wrists for me. So you can play with that, you're allowed. And then take the 
left, my left hand, whichever you're working on, and take a little side bend here. Thank God we only have two sets of limbs. Inhale up through center, and then exhale. Take it to the other side. Inhale through center. Exhale, move it back. Inhale through center. Exhale, take it forward. Well, let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Right elbow to right thigh, tailbone towards cubic bone. Press the outer left heel down, and then release the left arm behind the back. Open the chest, press through right elbow, and drop right ear to the shoulder. Couple of breaths in the pose. Once again, maybe experimenting with which angle is sweet. Maybe flutter the lips as you exhale. <sighs> well, feel free to straighten the leg if the quadriceps are getting tired. A couple more breaths. Now firmly press through the feet as you release the skull and maybe even the brain. <sighs> now then this time, press through both feet. Reach the left arm up. We'll come back to warrior two, inhale. Turn your palms up, feel the shoulder blades come on board and turn your feet parallel. Or maybe you might wanna face me if you're away from me. Right. So once again, drop the tailbone and press the pinky toe edge of your feet down to lift the arch up. And then maybe dare to look up for a moment on uh, one old school Hatha Yoga tradition, this is called starfish pose. And uh, once upon a time in America, with my bad American jokes, I used to call it uh, Jesus Christ Superstar or Broadway musical pose, like, <sighs> So move your thumbs back, have your ribs in, take one more breath, pressing through the feet, welcoming the new day, welcoming the present moment. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, once again, interlace hands behind the back. Reach the thumbs away from your sacrum, showing your side view. Shoulders back, armpits lifted, bend one knee, and then the other. So, sticking with our skiing or ice skating movement here. Minimize the lordotic curve in the lower back, so don't let your bum stick out too much. At least not right now. You can stick your bum out to your heart's content. Turn the toes out and the heels in. It's a little more like so, keeping the arms lifted, shoulders back. And then might feel good keeping the spine super long to move the hands towards the floor. If you're rounding to get the hands down, just keep them on your upper thighs. You get full credit. I'm getting a little bit deeper into the inner thighs, maybe the hamstrings. And if you find any areas that could use just a momentary pause, honor that. And switching sides. And once again, we're going to turn the toes out and heels in, coming into like a, a wide second position. Deuxième position. For you French speakers out there, I think that's correct. Alex, yeah. Yeah, okay, Kathy, <laughs> we remember something. So once again, one last time, move your thighs towards your pinkies. So the thighs aren't collapsing in, but moving out. And I'm gonna step out of the shadow a bit here. And then move your elbows back, hug your ribs in, take your breath in, move your skull back. Inhale, exhale, take it to one side. Inhale through center, reestablish, press skull into hands, exhale to the other side. And again, inhale, tailbone drops, lift your toes for a moment, activating the arch and the feet, release toes down, ungripped. And then maybe you take a little bit of a forward bend, and a side bend, maybe a little back bend to the side, to the twist and forward, and switching directions. Woo. Exhale. Last one, maybe the arms wanna do something ballet-ish. 
And then we'll take the hands down, stick the bum out, feet parallel, take a breath in, get long. Good. And then exhale, bend the knees. Poliana, you can keep the knees a little bent for this one. There you go. See how nice and long the spine is? And then let that go. <sighs> let the shoulders relax away from the ears. Feel free to incorporate a little side to side movement here as well. Either with the chin or the torso, or even bending one knee and then the other. See how that feels for your body today. And then see if you maybe you want to find a moment of stillness for a moment. Allow the head to drop, even as the feet are actively pressing down. Exhale. <sighs> And then get a long spine. So inhale, move the inner thighs back and heart forward. Exhale, hands to the thighs above the knees, shoulders back. We'll come up with a long spine. Inhale. Exhale, pause. Heels in, toes out. Toes in, heels out. Good. And again. And again. And well, you know, keep going until you come to stand. <laughs> Beautiful. Take a moment, find your feet. You can alternate lifting one and the other. Shake it off. I'm going to press through the right foot, lift the net left knee up. Take a few rotations there. Feel free to take your hands behind the thigh. Good. And the foot and the toes will be active. So whether you want to point or flex or what's known as floint, where you're pointing the foot or flexing the toes, you can do that. And then we'll keep everything as is and bring the hands to the solar plexus. Bend your standing leg if you want to work on a little extra uh, strengthening boost, as if you were doing Utkatasana. So really tilting the pelvis back and sort of sitting down, a little karate kid action there. Hiya! Take a breath in, and then externally rotate the hip, whichever you're doing, and then internally rotate the thigh bone. So you're lifting the heel up. I'm gonna move the hip into full extension. So taking it ooh, back, being very patient when you lose your balance. And we'll move from flexion, external rotation, internal rotation, and extension, keeping the pelvis stable though. So I don't want a massive movement here and leaning forward. One more time, you can even take one hand to sacrum, one hand to belly, if that helps you. You're really isolating the movement. And then reverse that. And be patient with yourselves when you lose the balance. Yeah, my legs are exhausted. I did a bit of walking yesterday, so. Ooh, that was plenty. Switching sides. Take a moment, reestablish the connection to the earth via the feet. Press the other foot down and begin to consider hovering the foot. It's restful. Let it rest for a moment. A little bit of movement, a little bit of breath, and everything will be okay at some point eventually, hopefully. <laughs> All right, good. And then once you've sort of found your breath, and your gazing point, we're going to move the thigh bone out and in and back. Oops, not much room back and forward and then out and then in and back and forward. And once again, bonus if you want to bend the standing leg a bit, that's always an option. Whew. Good, and then switch. So send it back and out and in and forward. Two more. Oh, let's do one more. And go. And then shake it, shake it. One more for the feet here. This is many of you know one of my new favorite things this past year. So press the top of the foot down. Like our feet are almost always in flexion. Hands can be at the hips. You can take the hands back or hug the heart forward, but really press through the top of the foot. And then isometrically, which means it's not going to go anywhere, think about drawing the back foot forward towards the front heel, even as you press down. 
Beautiful. And then we'll stretch the toes, keep the heel lifted, and bring a slight posterior tilt to the pelvis. Couple of breaths. And then we'll release that and switch sides. So top of the other foot. I'm really trying to get all 10 toes. And here the tendency is for the heel to flop out to the side. So see if you can press through the big toe a little more. And then drop down, press down, or maybe drop forward just a little bit. Couple of breaths. Very patiently, sweetly. Staying a little bit engaged to the front body. And then release and tuck the toes. Keep the heel lifted. Lovely. And slowly release. One more standing balance here. We're gonna, once again, move the pelvis back, bend the knees, press, let's agree to press the right foot down and hover the left foot. And then minimize the shifting of the pelvis to one side. Move the inner thighs back, engage your core, and then cross the left ankle over the thigh, it's just sort of the base of the quadriceps. Keep the spine long and maybe sit into it a bit. And allow for any wavering to happen and to be okay. You could even encourage it instead of resisting it. Like very often we try to keep our balance by gripping to the balance point and it has the opposite effect. So in times that are imbalanced, like now, <laughs> it can be good to invite a little bit of unsteadiness and then we're not so afraid of losing our balance. Sit a little lower, press through the hands. Maybe come forward a bit and slowly come up. Ah, good, shake it out. <laughs> and then once again, one more time, firm foundation, inner thighs move back, torso forward, ribs in. Do what you will with the hands, press left foot down, hover the right foot. And once again, invite a little bit of play. This is really strengthening for the knee, assuming it's not hurting anything, right? And the hips and the lower back. And then minimizing the kind of the force we use, just take the ankle wherever it goes naturally, where the range of motion is. Move the inner thighs back, deepen your hip crease. Extend through the spine, find your breath. And if you like, once again, you can invite a little bit of movement, like, okay, how much can I move before I am forced to lose my balance? Knowing that the floor is there, that's okay. Right? Sometimes it takes facing our greatest fears to realize they weren't, weren't as bad. Sometimes. Flex the foot, play with it. Sit a little lower and come on up. Woo. <sighs> Inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms up. Exhale through the mouth, let it go. <sighs> Again, and if the lower back is happy here, come into a forward bend. <sighs> if not, stay high. <sighs> and one more. <clears throat> Goodness, stay low. Coming into your forward bend, let the head and neck release. And let's go ahead and have a seat. So I sit down. I like to sit on my heels because I, I miss that stretching through the top of the feet. But sit however you like for just a moment. Turn your palms down and allow the crown of the head to float up. We'll roll the shoulders back and hug the front ribs in so there's a balanced action through the rib cage and through the torso where the breath is being distributed not just to front but side to side and especially through the back. As a matter of fact, if you like, you can take your palms uh, sort of at the height of your chest below the armpits and uh, see if you can inhale into your palms. So really pressing your palms into your side ribs. And then exhale, allow them to soften. Feel free to try exhaling through the mouth for this, breathing in some space. And breathing out. 
So as you're pressing the rib cage against the palms, you are strengthening the intercostal muscles. In a misa namasas tapalabra. Which is good, holding the lungs in place. And then if you had two more hands, they'd be pressing front and back. Just a couple more, stay with it. You could even switch your hands, keeping the remembered awareness of the palms to the sides, breathing right into the back of the lungs. Almost two thirds of our lungs are in the back body. So inhaling and exhale. Relax the jaw. Enjoy your breath. Almost greedily. On your next exhale, release the hands, rest them on your upper thighs. And we'll separate the knees, maybe keeping the big toes together. We'll come into an extended child's pose, releasing forehead either to the hands, to the face, or to the floor. And it's fine if the pelvis lifts off the heels. And also if you want to sort of take the arms back, coming into like an egg shape, releasing the arms down. And bring your awareness to the space behind the forehead. And maybe even the inner eyes can rest in the hammock of the forehead. And inhaling space into the torso. And exhale as you soften into that space. The next exhale will activate the navel a bit, keeping the spine rounded, the head heavy, come up slowly, tailbone heavy, arms and head come up last. One vertebra at a time. <sighs> Couple of rotations through the shoulders. Beautiful. And you are perfectly primed to switch me off now and sit for your meditation, or if you'd like to take an extended Shavasana or a little bit of breathing practice. Uh, oh, I'm going to take a, a round of uh, alternate nostril breathing and then I'll leave you to continue your day. So uh, you can take, you can just, we'll do the, if you know the fancy hand gestures, I'll come a little closer for this. If you know the fancy hand gestures, you can go ahead and uh, take them, right? But um, otherwise, don't worry. Just take your thumb, your left thumb to the right, to the left, pardon me, nostril, and inhale through the right nostril. And then exhale, block off both nostrils as if you were taking a dive. And exhale through the other nostril. Oh. Inhale through the left nostril, I hope. Exhale, close off both. And exhale, right. About a four second count. Inhale, right. And pause. Exhale, left. Pause. Inhale, left. Close both nostrils. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Pause. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Pause, exhale right. Continue. If the four count seemed rushed, feel free to take a six, seven, eight count. Or if it felt torturously slow, take a three second breath. Focus on the sensation at the nostrils and consider closing the eyes if that feels safe today.
Absolutely, feel free to adjust your seat so that it's truly sukha or comfortable. Last couple of rounds. Allow the inner eye to focus behind the forehead. And finishing up on your next exhale. Allow the hands to rest on your upper thighs. We'll sit quietly for just a moment, noticing the effects of even just the briefest of practices of pranayama. Pranayama, the extension of the life force. And perhaps consider taking one hand to your sternum, your chest, or maybe the other over it. You don't have to do anything special. Just pause for a moment. Acknowledge presence. And thank you very much for practicing today. As I said, feel free to switch us off and take an extended relaxation, or this would be a fantastic time to sit. We have a sitting practice, and we'll be doing more of that stuff as well together. Um, but uh, for now, I'm going to thank everyone. If anyone's watching the recording, thank you.